Hey the Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to manage your URL parameters. So what we have here is a simple form that creates an account and we can also load the account by the account ID. If, sorry, if we pass it in the URL parameters to the account ID. But what if we want to expose just this um, field through the URL parameters and not any other fields? So what we can do is head over to Form Settings, to Limits, select the URL params, click Configure. And now we can select what we are allowing. For example, if we will allow the account name, and let's give it a param name, ACC name, and this will be ACC ID, could be anything else as well. And we'll click Apply, and I'm going to save my form, publish it. And now I'm going to select an account and grab the account ID. And I'll say this, ACC ID equals this guy. And we can see that it will load the account name. If I'll go on the ACC ID and grab the FLD ID, FLD38, and pass it here, we will see that nothing will happen because we gave it a param name and <clears throat> that's what it will use. If we will take for example try and pass in this ID so FLD36 and try and pass some parameter into it it will not work as well. But for example if I will do end ACC name equals hello, then the hello will work. So what this gives you is an ability to control which elements on your on your form you're allowing uh, to pass parameters by a query string with the URL. And this is how it's done.